All right. So I did a little analysis of the different characters in American Beauty, and I found that um, the different things revealed about the different age groups and the uh, genders and the political affiliations too. So the boy, uh, or the young man, who's boyfriend of uh, Lester's daughter, he's a dope dealer and also a waiter, but that's just his cover. So he hustles because there's no solid economy for him to make money and get all the things he wants or requires, I guess for his hi-fi living. So he has to hustle weed in order to make ends meet. And that just shows the economy is pretty bad. That the waiting job doesn't get much, much more money. Uh, because it's a broken civilization, society, and so forth. But he's intelligent, you know? He's got some good qualities. And entrepreneurial, intelligent, and He makes connections. I guess he has a connection in New York. So he's planning for the future. And then there's uh, the two girls, kind of like Jezebel and Roth spirit, because it shows a good girl and the bad girl in the modern society. So the bad girl is the blonde, obviously, and uh, she's uh, the one who's doing a lot of gossip. And she's lying about herself in order to become popular. And she's pretty vain, egotistical. And she basically lives controlled by fear, but she tries to act like she's fearless to get attention from the other girls. And she also doesn't have any morals. Very superficial minded and superficially uh, close, small minded, yeah. Whereas the good girl, or the rot spirit, uh, is the uh, emo girl, uh, Lester's daughter. And she's pretty confused, like they say. And she's also a follower, um, because the bad girl, she happens to be more like a leader, because the culture favors her. So uh, she becomes like a follower. She has a lower status in this society. Like I said in a previous episode. <clears throat> She's also an introvert because just like the guy, the society is against her too. The society only favors like mindless people like Lester's wife and the bad girl, uh, the blonde or whatever her name is. But one thing about the difference between the age groups is that uh, the older people they have it harder and they have a harsher reality than the younger people they have to put up with more stuff just like today when schools open up they can't make the kids wear masks and <laughs> stay away from each other like they make the adults do which is ridiculous in my opinion it's like having parents and nannies everywhere telling you hey don't talk to anybody near you don't smile at them don't look at them it's crazy so they have, they're have more repressed than the children. The children get to smoke their weed, sell their drugs, model and so forth. <laughs> but the adults are all slaves. And they're pretty miserable slaves at it. Uh, for example, Lester's job is pretty uh, soul crushing. But he manages to make some money off there so he can support his family. But unfortunately, like the movie shows, his family doesn't appreciate him for it. <clears throat> and he has to say that the best part of his day is jacking off in the shower because the shower is the only place he has any privacy, where he has any autonomy uh, and freedom. So that's the high point of his day because that's the only place where he can do what he wants to do. <laughs> and the rest of the places, he's pretty much a slave to his family or to the job. 
but uh, Carolyn, on the other hand, is more independent because she's a real estate agent. But she's an even bigger failure than Lester because she doesn't make any money doing that. She just wastes her time. Um, so because she's such a loser at her job, she fantasizes about the winner of the job, which is the king. <laughs> I said it's hilarious, the king. And she like dreams about him and she wants to be with him and so forth. She wants his position. So she thinks she can sleep her way to get uh, his position. But that's where she becomes a loser in the end. Uh, but like the movie shows, the women have it a little easier. They get more in the short term because the society is collapsing. So uh, they get their two minutes of every dog has his day before they also get taken down like the men. But Lester ends up being the winner, at least in my perspective, because he gains, he gains freedom from the rat race and peace of mind and because he uh, liberates his thought he basically becomes immortal and that's what I think the movie's trying to say and that's what Paul Elam said in the red pilling of Lester Burningham a uh, video that he made so the movie's about how Lester frees himself from the shackles of the rat race and the world around him including his family and it shows Carolyn chasing after the immediate present uh, or the thing she wants in the present and neglecting her people around her and um, and not and ignoring all the real bad things happening around her too because she's all into positive thinking and uh, I know that about positive thinking it's a it's a scam basically to mind control people and keep them from opening up to the deeper reality because the reality is a pretty scary place and if you label it as negative then you're never gonna look at it and you're gonna be trapped like Carolyn got trapped because when her husband she didn't see what was happening to her husband and she didn't react to it properly and when he got killed in the end that left her hanging you know so what's she going to do now? Um, because the king's going to dump her. She's just going to be used and abused. Um, so she ends up being the loser. And then these are the good guys, supposedly, the liberals. Because most Hollywood viewers are probably liberals. But then there's also the conservative couple, Mr. and Mrs. Fritz. Uh, the guy's uh, Lester's boy daughter's boyfriend's uh, parents and the man is like a uh, conservative who is close-minded very rigidly thinking and also happens to be a little abusive and controlling of his family based on his mindset uh, because his values are dying in America so he has to become more uh, militant about it and he naturally becomes more militant about it and also very um, rigid in his values because it's a changing society. Like the faggot couple, <laughs> the gay couple, I mean. Uh, then there's Mrs. Fritz, who is uh, kind of like Carolyn. She's totally lost, and, but she's not that lost because she's crazy. So she just keeps to herself, I guess. But when she uh, interacts with the world, she seems lost because she's totally in a different world, I guess. And her spirit is pretty crushed too, probably from her husband's uh, domineering influence. And uh, so it's like a pretty sadomasochistic society. Lester's wife and his interaction represents that how she's very abusive towards Lester and no one really appreciates Lester at work or at home uh, and that's the fate of the American male today 
Um, it's a very misandric society. But that's good because that helps us um, come to a higher perspective, you know? Because we see the reality for what it is. Nobody really cares about anybody, including themselves. And uh, Carolyn shows that. She has a pretty shitty job and does some pretty shitty things and uh, she ends up paying the price for it eventually but it's too much for her to bear and yeah you can see the sadomasochism in the corporate structure the corporate man is a pretty miserable man and the American dream is quite a nightmare. In fact, the marriage is totally destroyed and the girls are going out with the criminals and, <laughs> and the older women are going out for the CEOs or whatever high status motherfuckers the kings or so forth who are very bad rulers as we all can tell <laughs> um, then what else alright I was also thinking about one thing it's like this movie is over so now I'm talking about the wicker man and in the wicker man I was thinking about how there's only very few times in the movie where this Christian man is enraged to the point where he becomes like a angry and uh, that happens when people try to block him from doing things he has to do for his duty and uh, it's just an interesting thing when you watch a movie to see when in what situations a person reacts in a certain way if that's something they don't do very often like this man doesn't tr tries to act very professional so he doesn't show his anger but when he does get angry it's when he feels people are like making fun of him or uh, or um, uh, uh, ridiculing his values or religion he gets mad at Lord Summerall when he talks bad of Jesus Christ you know or he gets mad when he finds out that in the grave it's only a rabbit or a hare not the actual girl uh, so he feels like he got set up and he also gets mad when the librarian blocks him from getting the records and when the teacher lies about um, that girl being part of the class so those show his personality basically uh, so that's why I mentioned it and then I talked about American Beauty a lot the great movie about the American family and what and it's a dysfunction <coughs> in the new millennium alright that's it for today till the next time till the next episode